Alright everybody, how we doing today? So, the U.S. decides to stop sending F-35 supplies to Turkey after Turkey decides to start buying from Russia. Uh, this is essentially a form of protest, because I guess Russia is still the enemy of America. You know, all that Cold War mentality. Reds under the bed and so forth. But apparently that Cold War didn't end. Oh, no, no, no. And all because Ankara chose to purchase a Russian missile defense system. Turkey is a NATO ally, and we're directly involved in the Cuban were pardon were directly involved in the Cuban Missile Crisis. We put our IRBMs in Turkey, so Russia put theirs in Cuba, as the story goes. Our government's relationship with Turkey is a long one, and to potentially throw it away is just it's foolish as all hell. Similar to the earlier report on Brazil's trade decisions, looks like America's trade decisions aren't a whole lot smarter. But the supplies being sent were related to the F-35 military jet. The supplies have been stopped, and the jet jets are now coming. Or, pardon, not coming. Pending an, equi pending an equivocal Turkish decision to forego delivery of the S-400 deliveries and activity associated with the stand-up of Turkey's 35, F-35 operational capability has been suspended, is an official statement by our government. And it would seem that our government and theirs are having a bit of a tiff. Our own U.S. government claims that the S-400 missile defense system would compromise the jet's security. I seriously doubt that the thing wouldn't be tuned to avoid any accidents. This is just, just an excuse to change trade agreements over Russian involvement. This is just petty bullshit. Like, oh, you're buying from Russia, huh? Well, then I guess you're not buying from us anymore. Screw you, you know? It's all rather childish, really. But uh, Turkish President uh, Tayyip Erdogan has no intention of not installing the S-400 Turkey. Uh, the S-400. Turkey also has issues with our government concerning Turkish demands that the United States extradite Islamic cleric uh, Fethullah Gulen, differences over Middle East policy and the war in Syria, and sanctions on Iran. Sanctions don't just impact governments or nations, all right? They impact lives negatively. People suffer when you put sanctions on their countries. They need it to stop. It's ridiculous. But the U.S. government is pretty serious about this whole uh, no S-400 thing. Thanks be to Reuters, uh, by the way, for having this info exclusively. There will be a NATO summit this Sunday in Washington. However, that situation has now been complicated by this latest trade decision. In fact, because of this, that meeting, that summit may not even happen at all. Now, as for the sanction thing earlier, I just wanted to add that um, imagine if your family was destroyed like you were living in a foreign country and you're in, you know, a U.S. sanction hit your economy and it destroyed your family. And then all of a sudden your nation decided to go to war on the United States. I think a lot of people would be tempted to join their country's military and go fight the United States over it. Get a little bit of revenge there. You're not making any friends with sanctions, my friend. None at all. But uh, this move by our government to push Turkey out of the F-35 production is just stupid, all right? And here's why. According to Andrew, uh, Andrew Hunter, because Turkey is not just an F-35 purchaser, pur purchaser, but an industrial partner, blocking delivery of the system represents a major escalation by the United States, as it threatens to impose serious costs on both sides. It also bears mentioning, along with Mr. Hunter's statements, that Turkey manufactures the components needed for fuselage, landing gear, and cockpit displays. Though they seem to think that someone else can do it instead of Turkey. Why look for someone else when you can just, you know, be sane and stick with the devil you know? But it would seem that our dear sweet U.S. government had feared that the S-400 would learn to recognize the F-35 upon detecting it and saw it as a security risk. I still say that it's just an excuse. Besides, we're not at war with Russia anymore. <sighs> it's like, so who fucking cares? 
Like, unless they sell the thing to one of our enemies, or something. Which I suppose is possible, but that I, I still say that's just uh, plausible deniability for what this really is. It's just, just a lame excuse to be all butthurt over, oh, they sold the, the you buy stuff from Russia, huh? It's just butthurt. But the Pentagon offered the Patriot missile defense system uh, instead, but it was much more expensive. Bottom line is, Turkey has made the right decision. The U.S. has n has not... Uh, has simply not made the right decision. End of story. This is just petty, petty bullshit. Our foreign policy is ridiculous. We're basically just bullying other countries into doing what we want them to do. It's, it's stupid. And Mike Pompeo and his uh, and his lackeys, his toadies, aren't making it any any better. In fact, they're largely making it worse. Our foreign policy is a joke, plain and simple. And this is just a further statement on how much of a joke it really is. Bottom line is, we made the wrong decision here. Or rather, not we, but rather our government made the wrong decision. Like our government, should, our government uh, represents maybe half the population at the best of times, and pretty much none of the population when it comes to foreign policy. <laughs> our, our government is really shitty compared to what it should be, compared to a proper metric. It's like, we should go out there and we should demand change to our foreign policy and shit. It, it, it's ridiculous. We can't just constantly go around and harassing people when they do shit we don't like. Uh, that's ridiculous and it needs to stop. Anyway... <laughs>